Hey guys, uh, it's a couple days after PAX Prime 2011. Uh, one of my favorite parts of PAX I do not miss ever is the Omegathon finale. It's the closing ceremonies of the convention. It wraps everything up. Uh, it's always incredibly exciting and suspenseful. Before it happens, there's a huge guessing game. What's the game going to be? What's the game going to be? There's a big reveal. It's incredible. Uh, then... You know, the Penny Arcade guys always set it up in such a way that it's always suspenseful right up to the end. Uh, this year, uh, they had a great choice, Zelda 1, who can get a piece of the Triforce first, right? It, the, you know, it doesn't matter which piece, I guess, but, you know, you're going to go for level 1, it's the closest. Um, but... You know, and it was suspenseful, just like always. Both of the guys were fighting Aquamentis simultaneously, but one was clearly in the lead, and he won. Uh, but there was a problem. Before they revealed the game, they had each Omeganaut select a, a failed Omeganaut as a, a spirit animal, you know, uh, a, a, to help them. Uh, and they gave this second Omeganaut the fact to Zelda. I don't know exactly what was written on it. I assume it was instructions on how to get the, uh, the first piece of the Triforce. Uh... And I can understand why they did this, right? If the Omeganauts were not familiar with Zelda 1, if they had not played it ever, then they wouldn't even know where to go. It's such an open-ended game. They might have gone way off to the right, way off to the left. Who knows where they, you know, if you've never played Zelda before, the first time I played Zelda when I was a little kid, I didn't know where to go. I was just walking around, looking around. Uh, if you don't have that map that comes with, that, <laughs> with the game, you're in big trouble getting that first piece of the Triforce. It'll take you quite some time. And we didn't really have hours to sit there waiting for, to, you know, if neither one knew how to get it. Um, that would have taken quite some time. And, you know, what if not, just one of them knew how to get it and one of them didn't? It would have been no contest, incredibly boring. So I understand why they did it. But, seriously, you're an Omega Knot. You do not deserve, you know, I'm sorry, but if you don't know how to get the first piece of the Triforce in Zelda 1 without a fact, without someone helping you, you don't deserve to even be in the Omegathon, let alone, you know, win it and go to Japan on this amazing trip. I mean, you know, the Omegathon packs, it's all about, you know, equality and friendship and everyone's welcome. And I understand a lot of people are not as old as me. They didn't play Zelda 1 growing up. But if you call yourself a gamer, all right, you identify as a gamer. You're someone who goes to packs on purpose. You signs up to be in the Omegathon and you haven't played Zelda 1. That's like, I mean, come on. You're, that's like if I was like, oh, I am a movie buff. Yes, well, have you seen Star Wars? No, I have never seen Star Wars. And you're not a movie buff, shut up, right? So, you know, I decided to go and try out the, you know, see how fast I could do it. I didn't look at any facts, <laughs> not like I need them, right? I just picked up a copy of Zelda 1, uh, and I went, see how fast I could beat Aquamentis. No speedrun hacks or anything, I just picked up a controller. It was actually an Xbox 360 controller on an emulator on a uh, home theater PC, because I didn't have an NES available. Uh, and it was easier to record video with fraps in the emulator, but whatever. Uh, to see how fast I could do it. And uh, yes, of course, I beat the crap out of the performance put on, well, the sorry performance, in my opinion, of the Omega Knots. Uh, here that uh, video is now. <laughs>
All right, now that you've seen me beat I guess the first boss of Zelda 1, Alchemantis, in incredibly short fashion, uh, I've proven my worth as a gamer, I guess, to myself. It's not like I needed to prove it. I knew I could do it already. Um, but yeah, if you can't do that, you can't call yourself a gamer or someone who cares about games. And if you've never played Zelda 1, guess what you're doing now? That's right. Get on it.